Okay, now to mount our duck's foot onto the walker. To do this, you'll want to insert the walker from the file. Go insert from my computer. I have it right here called Robo Walker. Click open. And there's our Robo Walker. Now we're going to need six copies of our foot. We can make duplicates of our foot by using the copy tool. Just simply push Control C when selected on the foot, and then push Control V to paste a new one. Move it over, and then push Enter on your keyboard to accept the copy. We still need a couple more copies of our foot, so we'll drag a selector box around them, push Control C again, and then Control V to paste two new ones. We can also just select multiple of the feet by holding shift and clicking on them both. And then pushing control C to copy them and control V to paste a new set. Once again, drag them down. Now we have six copies of our legs. Push enter on your keyboard to accept the copy. We need to move three of these feet to one side and three to the other. So I'll just select three of them and then from the transform tab use the move function. With the move tool, you can always grab the square, which is a planar type movement, and just click and drag them quickly over to the general side that we'll want our feet on. Push enter on your keyboard to accept the move. Let's do the same with the other set of feet. We'll use the move tool from the transform tab, select the feet, and then move them over next to the legs we'll be attaching them to. Now we need to reorient each foot so that way it's facing away from the leg. To do this, we can select the foot and then use the move tool under their pillbox and then just grab the rotation tool and rotate it until it's approximately parallel with the leg. Once again, select it, click move, and rotate it until it's about parallel with the leg. You might need to reorient your camera to get a better idea. We need to do this for all six legs of the hexapod. If you're having difficulties telling what's the correct angle, make sure to just move the foot closer to the leg and reorient your camera so you can see it better. So continuing the process, we select the next foot, click on move, rotate it, move it closer to our leg, rotate it again until we're satisfied with the angle, then push enter on our keyboard. Again we highlight the foot, we click on move, and we rotate it. Now with the last one we do exactly the same, highlight, click move, we're going to move it so it's in a little bit better position so we can see it, and we rotate it. Click off the screen or push enter to accept the move. Now we're ready to start snapping the feet into the sockets on the legs. We'll be using the snap tool, so go click on it on the top of the toolbar. And then zoom in to the top of the foot. And click on the circle on the top of the foot and reorient the camera so you can see the circle that is the top of the socket on the leg. Click on that and they should snap together. Click on the snap tool again and do the same with each foot. So once more, we click on the snap tool, click on the circle on our foot, and then click on the circle that is the inside of the leg. I'm just going to quickly do the last couple. And the biomimicry robot is finished. As always, make sure to save your work after these tutorials. You can do that just by going up to the 1, 2, 3D icon and clicking on Save to My Computer.